to today's lesson. Now, do you guys know what today is? <laughs> That's right, it's Father's Day. So to all the dads watching with your kids today, happy Father's Day. We just want to tell you we love you so much and we appreciate all that you do for us. We really hope you have an amazing day today and that you get spoiled by your kids. Now guys, since it's Father's Day, today's lesson is obviously going to be about fathers. And today's lesson is called The Greatest Father. Now, I know, some of you might be wondering, hmm, my dad is the best dad ever, but how is Teacher Lizelle going to talk about him if she doesn't even know him? Now, you're right, I don't know your dad and I'm sure he's awesome, but no, today we're not going to talk about our earthly fathers because we're going to focus on God. Now, did you guys know that the Bible actually tells us that God is a wonderful and loving Father and He is called our Heavenly Father? Now, trust me guys, if there was a reward for the best Father ever, it would definitely go to God. No offense to any of the dads watching today, because you see, God is just the best dad ever. I mean, God always cares for His children and He's just always there for them. Now. Here's a little secret guys, if you have accepted Jesus into your life and you believe he died for your sins and rose again, then you are God's child and he is your heavenly father. Isn't that just so amazing? Because guys, no matter what, we will always have a father in heaven who loves us so much and he is the greatest father ever. Now, the Bible actually gives us so many reasons why God is the greatest father. For example, in Psalm 103 verse 13, it says, God is a compassionate father. Or in Matthew 10 verse 29 to 31, it says, God is a caring father. And in Luke 6 verse 36, it tells us that God is a merciful father. Or how about in 1 Corinthians 8 verse 6, where it says, all things came from God the Father and His Son, Jesus. Or in Matthew 5, verse 48, God is a perfect Father. And in 2 Corinthians 1, verse 3, it says God is a comforting Father. And in James 1, verse 17, it says God is a never-changing Father who is always good and perfect. Now guys, believe it or not, but this is just a short list of reasons why God is the greatest father. And the list can just go on and on. But I'm sure you guys now get the picture that God is truly the greatest father. And there's no one like him. Now, guys, I actually have a great idea. Since it's Father's Day, and Father's Day is all about letting your father now know how much you love and appreciate him, Let's praise and worship God and show Him just how much we love and appreciate Him as our Heavenly Father. Are you guys ready? Awesome! Let's go!
I worship you. I worship you. You are here, working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, moving in a mist. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. Hey, we make a miracle walker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. We make a miracle walker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who. father with you guys now guys here's a fun fact did you guys know that the word father is used more than a thousand times in the bible that's crazy right so surely being a father must be really important now although we don't always have the best experiences with our earthly fathers god is nothing like our earthly fathers 
God is the greatest father and he is cooler than all the coolest dads combined. Now, to show you guys just how great our Heavenly Father is, I took the word Father and used it as an acronym to explain to you guys just how awesome our Heavenly Father is. So, let me show you guys what it is now. The F in Father stands for Faithful. Because guys, God is a faithful Father. Now, faithful just means God will always do what He says He will do. You see, God never breaks or forgets a promise. Now, maybe you have a good dad who has made some promises to you, but he forgot about them or things came up and he's not able to keep them anymore. Now, maybe your father has hurt you by breaking those promises. But guys, God is not like that. God always keeps his promises and you can always trust him. You can always count on God to be who he says he will be and to do what he says he will do because God is the faithful father. Now the A in father stands for affectionate because guys, God is an affectionate father. Now affectionate just is now a fancy word that means loving. Meaning guys, God is a loving father. Now the Bible actually teaches us that God is love. And guess what guys, God loves you so much and he wants you to be his child. And his love is better than any earthly father's love because God's love is perfect and his love never stops. I mean, his love is just so amazing that he sent his only son Jesus to die on a cross just so that you can also be his child. Now, if that's not the best love ever, I don't know what is. So, guys, remember, God is a loving father. Now, let's move on to the T. The T in father stands for timeless. Because God is a timeless father. I mean, let's face it, guys. Our earthly fathers, even the best ones, sometimes get too busy or too tired to spend time with us. And they can't always be there because life is just sometimes so busy and life gets in the way. But guys, God is not like our earthly fathers and he always has time for us and will always be there for us. Because God is a timeless God. God has no beginning and no end. So God never runs out of time or gets tired. He's also never too busy to listen to you or to take care of you. Because God is a timeless father. And time as we know it cannot hold or limit God from being the greatest father. Now let's move on to the next one. The H in father stands for holy. Because God is a holy father. Now holy means that God is completely set apart from sin. And he is perfect in every way. You see, God is the only father who has and will never sin. You see, God never thinks or says or does anything wrong. He is 100% good all the time. Now, you and I, on the other hand, we're not perfect like God. And unfortunately, we were born into sin. And our sin nature always wants us to sin against God by lying and cheating and hating and doing many other bad things to break his perfect law. Now guys, our sin actually separates us from God and nothing we do in our own strength will ever make us good enough to be with God. But guys, don't lose hope yet. God made a way for us to be holy too. You see, God actually gave his holiness to us because he knows we can't do it in our own strength. And he did that by sending his son Jesus so we can be made right with him. And because of what Jesus did, we actually have God's holiness living inside of us. And this now gives us the strength to be holy just like he is holy. Now, isn't that just so amazing, guys? Now, let's look at the E. The E stands for everywhere. Because God is everywhere. Now guys, 
Our earthly fathers can only be at one place at a time. But God, on the other hand, is everywhere all the time. Yep, everywhere you go, God is always with you. He's now in your home. He's in your school. He's in your church. And he's even with you when you cry and when you laugh. He's a father who is always with his children. So guys, don't ever believe the lies of the enemy telling you that if you're just alone. Because as long as you have God the Father, you will never be alone. Because God promised us that he will always be with us. And now for the last letter, the R. The R stands for rescuer. Because God is our rescuer. Now guys, do you want to take a guess why God is called our rescuer? That's right. God is a rescuer because he rescues people from sin. Now, sin is anything we think or say or do that breaks God's perfect rules. Like lying and cheating and hating. And when we die without being rescued from our sins, we will be separated from God forever. But luckily for us, God is a loving father. So he made a way for us to be rescued from sin. You see, God sent his son Jesus to be the savior who rescues people from sin. And Jesus willingly let people nail him to a cross where he then died to take the punishment of our sins. Now, after Jesus died, he was buried in a tomb. And on the third day, God the Father brought him back to life through the Holy Spirit. And now Jesus is alive. And this was all part of God the Father's plan so we could be rescued from our sin. You see, guys, God truly is the greatest and most amazing Father of all time. Now, here is the amazing part of all of this. God wants to be your heavenly father. Now, if you believe in Jesus and all he has done for you, then you have the right to be called a child of God, according to John 1 verse 12. Now, the amazing part of God being your heavenly father is you will never be alone. You will always have someone who loves you and who will always be there for you and believes in you. And one day when you die, God will take you now to be with him in his perfect home called heaven, to live with him forever and ever. Now, for those of you who maybe aren't sure if you have accepted Jesus and you want to do so today, you can also now accept Jesus as your heavenly father. I want to encourage you guys then to please go and watch this object lesson, How to Get to Heaven. And in this lesson, we teach you guys now how to give your heart to Jesus. And we also do a prayer with you guys so you can give your life to Jesus. So guys, I really hope you guys now enjoyed today's lesson and learned that no matter if we have a good or bad earthly father, we will always have a heavenly father who cares so much for us. Now, I know we focused a lot on our heavenly father today. But let's actually not forget about our earthly fathers. God has put them in our lives for a reason. They are now there to take care of us and teach us and help us to grow up to be great men and women of God. So today on Father's Day, let's honor God the Father and our earthly fathers for all they have done for us. Because without them, we would be nothing. Now, for those of you who don't have an earthly father anymore or maybe they're not around. I want you guys to honor those who fill their gap in your life, whether it's now your uncle or maybe your brother or a foster parent or hey, maybe even your mom. Now to honor these amazing people on Father's Day, we're going to make them a special card. So come along and let me show you guys how to make it.
guys. What a cool craft. I'm pretty sure whoever you give this card to today will love it so much. But don't just stop at one card. If you have more than one dad, make a card for each of them. Just have fun with it and honor those amazing people who God put in your life. Now, to honor our Heavenly Father, let's jump up and sing one more song to Him. guys today's lesson was just so much fun i really had so much fun teaching you guys about our heavenly father and how amazing he is now before we go let's quickly end our lesson with prayer dear heavenly father thank you for being such an awesome father who always loves and cares for us thank you for always being there and believing in us we just want to honor you today as our Heavenly Father and say that we love you so, so much. Thank you for also giving us our earthly fathers and those who fill their place. We wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for them. We pray that you would please bless them for all that they do for us. In Jesus' name we pray this. Amen. Well guys, that's a wrap on our lesson of today. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you guys now again next week Sunday. Bye everyone. <music>